Rambam Mishneh Torah, one chapter a day, Kilain, chapter 5. Halakha 1. When a person sows two types of grain or two types of vegetables together with grape seeds, he's liable for two sets of lashes, one for violating the prohibition, Leviticus 19.19, you shall not sow your field with mixed species, and one for violating the prohibition, you shall not sow your vineyard with mixed species. Halakha 2. A person does not receive lashes for sowing kilaim in a vineyard unless he sows a handful of wheat, barley and grape seed in Eretz Israel. Similarly, one who covers such seeds with earth is worthy of lashes. And one who sows two types of vegetable seeds or a vegetable seed, a grain seed and a grape seed from one hand, is worthy of lashes. Halakha 3. He is not liable according to scriptural law unless he sows hemp and wild onions or the like from seeds that will mature together with the produce of the vineyard. Other types of seeds are forbidden according to rabbinic decree. Similarly, according to rabbinic decree, it is forbidden to sow kilaim in a vineyard in the diaspora. Halakha 4. Why did the sages forbid planting mixed species in a vineyard in the diaspora, but not mixed species in a field? Because the prohibition against mixed species in a vineyard is, is more severe. For if they were to be sown in Eretz Israel, it would be forbidden to benefit from them. Since it is forbidden to benefit from them in Eretz Israel, it is forbidden to sow them in the diaspora. Halakha 5. We may not with a hoe, we may not hoe, sorry, we may not hoe with a gentile with, with mixed produce, but one may uproot the produce with him in order to eliminate the undesirable substances. Halakha 6. The prohibition against mixed species in a vineyard applies only to species of grain and species of vegetables. Other types of plants, by contrast, are permitted to be sown in a vineyard. Needless to say, this applies with regard to other trees. Halakha 7. It is forbidden to sow vegetables or grain next to vines or to plant a vine next to vegetables or grain. If one does this, although he is not liable for lashes, the produce is hallowed and it is forbidden to benefit from both the grain or vegetables and the vines. They must both be burnt as Devarim 22.9 states, lest the fullness of the seed become hallowed. It is forbidden to benefit from even the straw of this grain and the wood from these vines. They must be burnt. One should not use them as fuel for an oven or a range and one should not use them for cooking while they are being burnt. Halakha 8. The prohibition applies equally whether one plants or maintains kilaim, i.e., one saw that mixed substances grew in his vineyard and he left them to grow, but they become hallowed. A person may not hallow an article that is not his. Therefore, if a person draped his vine over grain belonging to a colleague, he causes his vine to be hallowed, but not the grain. If he draped a vine, belonging to a colleague over his grain, he causes his grain to be hallowed, but not his colleague's vine. If he draped a vine belonging to a colleague over grain belonging to a colleague, he does not cause either of them to become hallowed. For this reason, when a person sows kilaim in his vineyard in the sabbatical year, he does not cause it to be hallowed. Halakha 9. When a person sees mixed species growing in a vineyard belonging to a colleague and maintain them, that observer is forbidden to benefit from them. Every other person is permitted. Were the owner of the vineyard to have maintained them, they would be hallowed for all people, as explained. Halakha 10. The following laws apply when a man of force sowed kilaim in a vineyard belonging to another person. If the owner hides out of fear, even though he does not despair over ultimately receiving his property, the produce becomes hallowed according to scriptural law. If he does not hide, even though he does, does despair, the produce becomes hallowed only according to rabbinic law. Halakha 11. When wind uproots trees, uproots branches of a vine and blows them against grain, one should remove them immediately. <clears throat> if he did not remove them due to forces beyond his control, they are permitted and they do not become hallowed. Halakha 12. The following laws apply when a man of force sowed kilaim in a vineyard and then departed, leaving the vineyard to its original owner. When the man of force departs, the owner should harvest the crops immediately, even during Chol HaMoed. If one cannot find workers, he should add even a third to their wages. If they demanded more than that or was unable to find workers, he may continue searching without pressure and harvest the produce. If the produce remained until it reached the point that it hallows the vineyard, it is hallowed and both species are forbidden. Halakha 13. When, when do grain or vegetables become hallowed? When the plants develop roots. When do grapes? When they reach the size of a white bean. 
as implied by Devarim 22.9, lest the fullness of the seed which he sowed and the produce of the vineyard become hallowed, i.e. the prohibition applies when one sows this and this becomes produce. If, however, the grain has already dried to the degree necessary or grapes had matured to their full extent, they do not become hallowed. What is implied? When grain has already dried to the degree necessary and then one planted a vine in their midst or grapes had matured to their full extent, and one planted grain or a vegetable next to them, although this is forbidden, they do not become hallowed. Halakha 14. The following rules apply in a vineyard whose grapes have not grown to the size of a white bean, but are still underdeveloped. If one sowed vegetables or grain there and they took root, they are not hallowed. Nevertheless, he is penalised and we forbid the grapes. The underdeveloped grapes, by contrast, are permitted. If one uprooted the grapes before the grapes, before the grapes became the size of a white bean, it is permitted to benefit from them. If some of the grapes have reached the, that size and some have not, those which have, those which have are hallowed and those which have not are not. Halacha 15. When grapes have grown to the size of a white bean and one planted grain or types of vegetables at their side and reaped the growth before they became rooted, it is per permitted to benefit from them. If they became rooted, it is forbidden. Halacha 16. When a vine has dried out and its leaves have fallen, as is frequent in the winter, it is forbidden to sow vegetables or grain next to it. If one sows them there, they do not become hallowed. Similarly, if one sows these species in a flower pot that does not have a hole which is located in a vineyard, the produce is not hallowed. <clears throat> he, however, should be given stripes for rebellious conduct. If, however, the flower pot has a hole, it is as if he sowed in the ground. Halakha 17. The following rules apply when a person was passing through a vineyard and seeds fell from him, or they were brought into a field with fertilizer or water, or one was sowing or winnowing in a field of grain and the wind carried the seeds behind him, and the seeds fell into a vineyard and sprouted. They do not become, become hallowed. This is derived from the proof text cited above, which states, which you sowed, and this was not sowed. He is nevertheless obligated to uproot it when he sees it. If he maintains it, it becomes hallowed. If the wind carries the seeds before him and he saw them all them fall into the vineyard, he is considered to have sown them. What should he do if their grasses grow? He should then turn them over with a plough. This is sufficient. If he discover that they have already ripened, he should crush the portion that ripened, for it is forbidden to benefit from the entire plant. If he discovers, discovers that grain has already sprouted, it must be burnt. If he saw it and maintained it, it must be burnt together with the vines adjacent to it. Halakha 18. When a person sees a herb that most people would not plant growing in a vineyard, it does not become hallowed, even though he desires that it be maintained so that he will use it for animal fodder or for medicinal purposes unless most people in that locale would maintain such a plant. What is implied? When a person maintains brush growing in his vineyard in Arabia, it becomes hallowed because there most people desire the brush for their camels. Halakha 19. Mint, ivy, the king's lily, and other similar plants are not considered as kilaim in a vineyard. Hemp, artichokes, and cotton are considered like other types of vegetables, and they become hallowed in a vineyard. Similarly, all types of herbs that grow on their own accord in a field become hallowed in a vineyard. An Egyptian bean is considered as a plant and does not become hallowed. Bamboo, rose, bamboo roses, and thorn bushes are considered as species of trees and are not kilaim in a vineyard. Halakha 20. This is the general principle. Whenever the leaves of a plant grow from its roots, it is considered a vegetable. If its leaves do not grow from its roots, it is not a vegetable. A caper tree is considered as a tree in all contexts. Halakha 21. When a person sees a vegetable growing in his vineyard and says, When I reach it, I will take it out, it is permitted. Should he reach it and pass it by, saying, When I return, I will take it out, of, I will take it out. If he waits, the time it takes to add one two hundredth to its size, it becomes hallowed. Halakha 22. How can we measure this degree of growth? We see how long it would take for this vegetable or grain to dry if its connection with the earth was severed. Let's, let us say that it would take 100 hours to dry to the point that it retained no moisture. Thus, if it remained in the ground for half an hour after he reached it, it will have added one two hundredth to its size and it is forbidden. If he waited less than half an hour, it is permitted. Halakha 23. It is forbidden to carry a pot with a hole at its bottom, in which a vegetable is growing through a vineyard. If one left such a pot under a vine on the earth for the time it takes to add one two hundredth to its size, it becomes hallowed. 
Halakha 24. The following law applies when one sowed an onion in a vineyard. The vineyard was uprooted afterwards and then the onions grew from the roots that were already planted. Even though the growth is more than 200 times the size, of the size of the root, the root remains forbidden, for the permitted growths cannot change the status of the forbidden root.